Is this thing on? I have something really important to say. I don't really know where this plugs in on my camera though. I'm sure most of you know who J. Reg Gregory Guevara Jr. Jr. Keep that in mind. And if you don't, he's no one really that important, so I'm just going to skim over the details of who he actually is. I'm just going to tell you why you need to hate him. Turns out he's been lying to his audience for however many years he's been on YouTube. I'm honestly not too sure. The man can't even be honest about where he lives. Exhibit A. Where was this taken, you might ask? Southern Texas. Where exactly? Not going to tell you because I live in Southern Texas. As you can see, he's not even just a YouTuber, if you can even call that a real job. He is the manager slash partner of a Sonic. I don't really know what a partner of Sonic means, but he is one. But I'm pretty sure because of how US law works and um, all 50 states and how their laws work that we have to memorize in school. I'm pretty sure that you have to live in Texas to own a business in Texas, especially like a franchise. So the dude's not even Canadian. So that's lie number one. Your Ottawa song's falling apart now, isn't it? You probably visited for the summer, thought it was okay, but apparently like, like mediocre okay because you still had a lot of things to bitch about even though you don't even live in the city. So that's great. Good job. Number two. Exhibit number two. He's not even a junior. He's a second. He is Junior Geronimo the second. Junior Geronimo the second. Can you believe that? He's not even a fucking junior. A shame. Shame. Shame, 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 shame. Your father must be very disappointed. I know my father is. Like every reactionary YouTube personality, I'm going to only tell you things that he said without providing any proof because y'all have TikTok brain. So I'm just going to feed you a slurry of information. You're going to take it at face value without doing any actual research yourself. AKA, I'm also too lazy to find the clip. But I'm pretty sure he said that he was in school for being a political scientist. Whatever the fuck that means. Which is all fine and dandy. Um, at the beginning of this video, I had said that, you know... He was an accelerationist of some sort, which, I mean, that's cool. He kind of talks about shit that nobody particularly cares about um, for like 14 minutes long, which I think is like a little bit too long to talk about made up shit. But here we are. Why am I bitching about accelerationism, you might ask? Well, you can talk about snail accelerationism and human accelerationism all you want. I'm not your mother. You can do what you'd like. I'm sure they have freedom of speech in Canada as well. However, it's a big however. Let me introduce you to B slash A C C. However you're supposed to pronounce that. Biak. Back. Baby got back. It's called burger accelerationism. It's an accelerationism we have in America. Which you should know because you're American. It's called get me my fucking burger faster. I've been in the drive through line for 20 minutes now, okay? I need my goy slop and I need it now. Accelerate my burger out the window. I need my greasy garlic bacon goy slop burger. Mmm, delicious. I'm so glad I paid $14 for mediocre food instead of cooking stuff that I already have at home. Imagine having the audacity to lie to your audience about the country you live in and what you do for a living. I can't relate. I work in healthcare, can't you tell? Haha. Ha. But listen, every video on YouTube or on TikTok has to have like, you know, the hand extending out, you know, the, the Jesus is coming to save you hand, right? And, you know, I just gotta say, hey, look, man, I understand we all tell lies. We all, we all tell lies of some sorts to ourselves and to other people because it makes us feel better about who we are. But whenever you hide under that many levels and layers of irony and satire, I think that you kind of begin to lose yourself entirely. And I don't think you can ever get that back. Isn't that mostly what you talk about in your videos anyway? I don't know. I never really pay attention. I have you on the background because 
I can't hear myself like think for like more than like two minutes. Anything past that and it's just like I hear them scratching on this wall in the back. Why else do you think I need this? But your core identity should be very important to you. So I think you owe it to your fans to apologize and just admit that you're American. I mean, we're all kind of heading that way anyways. I mean, the, the southern border is completely fucking shot. So it's only a matter of time before the northern border is, like, you know, dissolved and we, we all just become, like, Can America Mexico. Can America? Amer Mexican? Ada? So take your own advice to heart with your little irony poisoning bullshit. Because the quicker you come to terms with it, the quicker I can get my Sonic Burger in the future. And I might ask for a shake next time. And I know y'all motherfuckers at that particular fucking Sonic take it a goddamn eternity. Even though I bashed this person for the entire video, please don't send no hate. Okay, thanks. Love you. Bye.